So Windows 10 is officially dead, and while Microsoft is forcing to upgrade to Windows 11, we have a strong contender here, the Zori Noise 18. It's snappy and responsive, it supports both Linux and even multiple Windows apps, and most importantly, it looks really good doing it. Starting with the lock screen and sign-in page, the subtle elegant blur is a nice polished touch right off the bat. And the beauty of Zorin OS is that it refuses to force you into one box, meaning the desktop layout isn't fixed. If you grab the Pro version, you get access to 12 different styles. Want it to more feel like macOS, or want the classic Ubuntu style, and even the Windows 11 layout. All of those styles are here, and each one brings its own unique flavor. And taking things further for macOS style is the Jelly mode. It may look completely unnecessary, but makes you appreciate the Linux customization. However, the thing truly unique to Zorin OS is this 3D desktop switcher. This makes your boring desktop switcher come alive in 3D, a total soft feature indeed. In the latest update, they've added a vast collection of beautiful wallpapers, which is always a treat. There's two new accent colors as well, giving you more choice to personalize the experience. Another thing users may appreciate is the massive collection of pre-installed apps. For the average user, you're basically done. Photo and video editing, full office suit, 3D modeling, video and an audio player, and even a password manager. It's a complete professional toolkit ready to go from the start. And if you still need something more, the built-in app store is massive too, consisting of apps from various categories. One of the game-changing features of Zorin OS is its Windows app compatibility. Unlike other distros, it features one app installation without any complications, giving you the power to run any Windows.exe or MSI files right from the file manager. This is especially helpful for users trying to transition from Windows to Linux. And for all the gamers, worry not, we have native Steam support, all your Steam library games right here. The best part is the performance, it's surprisingly good, almost on par with what you would expect from Windows, and yes, it works seamlessly with your Xbox giving controller as well. And seeing how horrible Steam games run on Chromebox Flex, this was definitely a surprise for me. Very impressive. Now multitasking on Windows 11 is pretty convenient, but so is the case on Zorin OS. With the new advanced Windows Styling Manager, there's 6 default options to arrange and snap your windows as your preference. Make sure to enable this option so that it will automatically suggest apps when you snap a window on a side. Another big hurdle for switching to Linux was lack of any Microsoft integration. Zorin OS 18 tries to fix this. Now you can add your Microsoft 365 and OneDrive account from the online accounts. And by doing this, you can view your files stored on the OneDrive directly using the file manager. And the best part, you can open the Word, Excel or PowerPoint files using the LibreOffice suite and edit them as well. Now this will make editing and managing your files easier than ever, that also across multiple platforms. And across the board, Zorin OS 18 has refined and polished a lot of things. You'll notice more rounded edges, simplified manual lists, and overall a sleek modern feel. The file manager now includes a powerful global search, so you can instantly search for any file on your entire storage drive and not just a one specific folder. The calendar app looks better than ever with a dedicated monthly view. There's also a new program called Web App. Now this lets you create instant standalone web applications for different websites. You can even choose your preferred browser for each one. But that's not all. There is so much more to explore and so many more internal and visual improvements you will discover the moment you start using Zorin OS yourself. And when it comes to installation, it's quite easy I've left the complete guide linked down in the description. But remember when you get to the install screen, 
there is an option to try it first. Make sure to test the water first, see if you like the features and look of it and how it runs on your system. The question is simple, will you transition to Zorin OS or are you going to upgrade to Windows 11? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.